I want to talk today about this particular pistol I bought. I bought this around uh, 1981. This is a, uh, a Ruger Red Hawk. This is a, uh, a, a 44 Magnum revolver. Uh, the 44 Magnum revolvers, uh, were, I, I should say the, the 44 Magnum revolver that's, that's most known is probably the Smith & Wesson Model 29 that was introduced around 1957 along with the 44 Magnum cartridge. But uh, this Red Hawk here is a much more modern pistol and it is much stronger than the Smith & Wesson Model 29. You can uh, put loads in this particular pistol that will just blow the hell out of a, a Model 29. And that's one of the reasons why I like it. Although I've never, I've never put a, a load in this gun that was over maximum, uh, because I want to make sure that every every uh, 44 Magnum round I make will work in every 44 Magnum pistol. I don't, I don't want to have one of my uh, overloaded rounds that would work in this gun, go into uh, somehow find its way into a, a weaker 44 Magnum like the Smith and Wesson uh, 29 to blow it up. Uh, uh, Ruger, uh, they just introduced this gun because they wanted to have a, uh, a double action revolver to go along with their uh, Super Blackhawk single action revolver. And this is a real doozy of a gun. If you look at this particular gun, you will see that the, uh, the cylinder on this gun is just massive. It's just, it's just a, one of the most strongest uh, cylinders I've ever seen. This particular gun locks into the frame in three different places, whereas the the one on the, the, the uh, Model 29 will only lock in two places. You've got your regular latch here, you've got a latch down in here, and you also have a latch in the crane here. There's a little latch in this crane right here that fits in the frame right here. So you've got three places that this, uh, that this uh, cylinder is latched into this frame. That is how strong this gun is. Like I said, it's it's any you could put any 44 Magnum load in there, any factory load or any up to maximum. You could even overload this gun. Since they came out with this gun, they have uh, chambered this gun in 460 Ruger and 454 Casul, which are even more powerful than the 44 Magnum here, and it's the same revolver pretty much. Uh, they also have a version of this uh, Red Hawk. Uh, that'll hold eight uh, 357 rounds in it. So you've got so this is this, you can buy this in an eight shooter 357 Magnum pistol. That's how how strong this gun is. Now this is a regular double action gun. You can fire it single action or double action. Right out of the box, the double action pull on this gun is is, is just amazing. It's it's just really smooth. The single action, excellent. These are just uh, these are just great pistols. This is a five and a half incher. I think you can get them up to seven and a half. Uh, I don't know if they ever made a ten and a half like they do with the Super Blackhawk, but but I've owned this gun for like thirty years and I just love it. It's a great gun. And uh, actually, it's got to be what forty years now. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, thank my wife again for, for making. Oh, I forgot. I put the. I always like to put uh, either Hogue mono grips or. Uh, Packmeyer grips on my pistols. It just makes them more comfortable to shoot for me. Uh, I wanted to thank my wife again for videoing this and she can go back to doing her uh, vacuuming and thank you very much. I love you.